For the Battle Pass Vault, we are going to get three Battle Passes. The first Anniversary Battle Pass, Going Dark Battle Pass and finally Tokyo Escape Battle Pass. I'm going to show you the epic gun skins with custom iron sights and all the character skins in all three of these Battle Passes so that you can decide which one you should go for first. Before we continue, I'd be really happy if you leave a like on this video because I'm going to show you everything you should know before you buy the Battle Pass Vault. We're going to start with the first Anniversary Battle Pass which is the oldest of the three. In this Battle Pass, we got four characters skins first the spectre pixel spy then we have reaper premium which is a real nice skin then we have zero nebula and finally Scylla future vice and as epic gun skins in this battle pass first we got the qq9 epic skin with the custom iron sight i know it's not the best iron sight but still if you like to use qq9 skins with custom designs you would love this the ak117 skin is really good compared to the other skins because it does have custom iron sight which i consider is pay to win then we have dlq skin with a square scope now although the outer design is square the scope is actually round so if you are used to use round scope you will not feel the difference then for the going dark battle pass first we got the ghost joe born skin which is a great skin and very popular skin among the call of duty community then we have the prize dead of the night this is also the first time captain price appeared inside of the battle pass then we have the second urban tracker inside of the battle pass urban tracker by night another popular skin and finally we have Velikan Megalith. In this battle pass, we have four epic blueprints with custom iron sights. First, we have this type 25. It's not so different from the default type 25, but still it's easier to use. And this type 25 has a skin for the monolithic suppressor. That is one thing I like about this type 25. Then we have this KN44, which is a great skin. I personally find this KN44 iron sight one of the best KN44 iron sights in the game. And I usually win gunfights with this. Then again, we have a QQ9 epic skin in this this battle pass as well which is also not the greatest iron sight but it's a black and gold skin so you would love it then finally we have hbr with a custom iron sight take a look at this iron sight you are never going to see a hbr iron sight like this again it's not the best but it's custom and you will enjoy it moving on to the final battle pass the tokyo escape we get the spectra ninja skin then takio in the sensei uniform we also get zero escape and finally, Hidora Kai, the boss. Personally, I really like the Hidora Kai skin the most. In this battle pass also, we get four epic guns with custom iron sights. First, we have this Type 25 Oni, which is again, not the greatest iron sight, but it's custom and the design is really good. One of the best iron sights in this battle pass is the SM-10 skin. Compared to the Ghost Ring default SM-10, this one is much better. We are also going to get a RUS skin in this battle pass. And this RUS skin, I personally consider this this as one of the best RUS epic skins because of the science side. And finally we get this PP19 Bison skin as the 50 tier reward. It also has a custom design and a custom iron side. So if you are wondering why only 3 battle passes and why these 3, we probably got only 3 because it's the first time they are going to implement it. And also this may work more or less like the for you section where we get several new battle passes each season. And the reason why they put the Tokyo Escape battle pass in this is Tokyo Escape is the most popular battle pass in the history of call of duty mobile many new players came to the game because of this tokyo escape season and the reason why we have going dark is going dark is considered as the best battle pass in call of duty mobile the reason is we got really good skins and very solid characters in this battle pass especially we have ghost price and urban tracker in this battle pass all together and then finally why the first anniversary battle pass in third anniversary that's because we never celebrated the anniversary properly the third anniversary battle pass doesn't look like we are celebrating the anniversary so maybe they came up with this idea of adding the first anniversary battle pass and don't forget first anniversary battle pass is also among the top five best battle passes in the history of call of duty mobile so let me know what you think about all these battle passes and are you going to buy this battle pass wall and which battle pass will it be i hope you enjoyed the video and if you found this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i'll see you guys in the next one